Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. And today we're going to talk about a tricky subject, which is drawing smooth, confident, and organic lines on your USB tablet. So let's take a look at this rock, for example. If I were going to draw this, I could try and carefully draw the outline in a nice, slow, careful contour drawing, and then come back and maybe put in where the lines overlap and eventually I could get my shape. But probably this is not going to give me a very smooth, confident looking result. Instead, I like to use layers to my advantage. So I'm going to get rid of this and think about the rock in terms of first its basic shape. What is the most simple way of thinking about this? Well, it's pretty much an oval. So I'll draw a big oval first. Okay, now that I've got a nice looking oval, it's time to make a new layer. And this is where keyboard shortcuts come in handy. And on the new layer, I'm going to draw the uh, protrusions. So I've got some lumps here and a little, little horn looking thing coming off it, a bigger one here. But you see I'm able to make big confident marks, not worrying about the fact that it's overlapping. Now all I have to do is go back to the initial layer, the one where I have my oval drawn, and erase where they overlap. And here I can erase without worrying about messing up those confident lines I drew on top, because these are two separate layers. So there I've got a confident looking drawing because I was able to make long, dynamic lines. I didn't have to worry about the intersections. And then when I'm done with that, I can flatten those two down so they're on their same layer. Here is a sword. And specifically, let's look at those saw teeth that are cut out of the blade. So on a new layer, I'll draw the major curves of the sword. And see how I didn't have to worry about those overlapping? I can erase away the excess with no problem. It's way better to draw more than you want and erase it away than it is to draw less and end up with a messy looking line. So we'll call this the major shape of the blade. Now I'll make a new layer, and on that layer I'll draw these saw teeth cutouts. Now I'll go back to the layer with the blade shape and erase away where they intersect, and flatten the two together. So it can be really hard to think in this way because probably if you're drawing a blade, you might be tempted to draw it in this way. But really, it's much more clean as a result to draw one, two, and then erase away the intersection. Okay, and for our final example here, I'm going to use this helmet. So once again, I'll draw the major shape on its own layer. And now to cut out the uh, face plate, I will draw that on a new layer. And I'm actually going to make this shape a little bit different. I'll make an, an additional layer for the back of this circle. This is going to be the area that's visible once we cut out the face plate. And I'll erase away where that's going to be covered up. And then finally on the original layer, I'll erase away this intersection. So there you have confident lines the whole way through. There's a lot of reasons that this technique is useful and will give you good results. And one of the more straightforward ones is that you're thinking from simple to complex. If you can lock in a good basic shape, adding details to it is only going to make it stronger. It's going to have a very solid feel when you're done if you begin simple and then add more complexity. So next time you're trying to draw with your tablet and having a little trouble getting the clean lines you're looking for, don't be afraid to make a new layer, draw a little extra, and erase away what you don't want. After all, you can flatten it all down to a single layer when you're finished, but don't be afraid to use Photoshop to its fullest potential when you're trying to get clean gestural lines. Thanks for watching, guys.